Hey everybody, David here, and I want to talk about some news that broke today. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Lilo and Stitch is getting a live-action remake from the Walt Disney Studios. Uh, this is going to be from the producers of the live-action Aladdin remake, uh, so that's pretty cool. I hope this means that the Aladdin remake is going to be awesome because... Aladdin and The Lion King are my top two favorite animated films of all time. Um, and <laughs> I'm really looking forward to both of them next year becoming live action films. Uh, the Lion King I'm not so worried about because it's directed by Jon Favreau. And I've loved everything Jon Favreau has directed. Almost everything that he's directed so far. Cowboys and Aliens was a weak one. Uh, but... The Aladdin remake is directed by Guy Ritchie, who I'm not too sure about. You know, I, I know Guy Ritchie. He directed the Sherlock Holmes movies, uh, Seven, and I think he directed Seven. I'm probably confusing that with something else. But anyways, he's directed a lot of films that people liked back in his earlier days a little bit more than his more recent days. Uh, so I, I'm rooting for him because I love Aladdin and I want that movie to be awesome. Uh, hopefully Will Smith will capture his own version of the genie because we know he's no Robin Williams. So there's that. Um, with that being said, Lilo and Stitch is actually a Disney film. When that movie came out, I loved the teaser trailers that they showed. They, they did three or four of them that were kind of poking fun uh, of some of the Disney movies that we all know and love. They were There was an Aladdin one, there was one for The Lion King, there was one for Beauty and the Beast, and there was one for The Little Mermaid. And it started with that familiar, those some of those familiar songs and scenes that we all know and love. I think uh, The Lion King one was like uh, 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 The Circle of Life, and all of a sudden, Stitch comes out of nowhere and causes uh, chaos for that moment when we we're, they're making us think it's the mo it's the movie. Maybe it's coming back to theaters. And no, what's this little blue alien doing here? This is this wasn't in the original film. Uh, and those were some of the funnest uh, teasers that I had seen back then. Um, if you if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check them out. It's a quick YouTube search. Um, after this video. Uh, with that being said, when the movie finally came out and I finally saw it, I didn't see it in theaters, but I did see it in when it came out on DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, I, I did... I, I was a little disappointed by it. I'll, I'll say that. Uh, I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it because I felt like the marketing be deceived me. I thought those some of those scenes and more were going to be in this movie. I thought it was going to really be spoofing all of Disney's classic films. And I thought that would have been hilarious to see him go through every Disney movie and cause chaos. And what's he going to learn? Who knows? Uh, maybe to be a good Disney character. I don't know. Uh, but with that being said, I, I saw the movie once or twice in the past. I haven't seen it for a, a long while. Uh, it's been over 10 years for sure because that movie came out in 2002. But it is a movie that I did think, hey, this with all of Disney's live action remakes, I did think this could actually be one that could actually work as a live action remake. It, it's very suitable and very easy. You could have a couple of CGI characters. Uh, obviously, there's some sci-fi stuff in there too. Uh, so yeah, of course you can make the... And then there's the human characters. So of course you can make this into a live action uh, film easily. Uh, this this is very suitable. And Lilo and Stitch is a very popular one. They even came out with a couple of direct-to-video sequels, uh, which I did not watch. I, I avoid the direct -to -video, a lot of the direct-to-video sequels, um, and I don't let those ruin my experience of of the original um but i i think this one this one is a nice choice for disney to tackle uh i'm surprised there were a couple of other ones that they could have picked even before lilo and stitch's time that i'm surprised they're going with this one uh but it it, it makes sense because lilo and stitch was one of the money makers uh for disney uh, you know, I'm still holding out hope for Atlantis. I would love to see an Atlantis The Lost Empire remake 
or even Treasure Planet, I thought, you know, I I didn't like Treasure Planet the first time I saw it, but I rewatched it one time and I said, I, I, you know what, this is actually a really good movie. Um, it, but it bombed in the box office and funny enough, that movie came out the same year as Lilo and Stitch. Uh, so th- there's a lot of other movies Disney can still pick from and even from the past. Um, maybe some of them they want to save for their streaming service. Who knows, but Lilo and Stitch is a good one that I think will do good in theaters. Uh, So, yeah, this is another one for Disney, it looks like. Disney, keep making these great remakes, and I'll keep coming back. Just no more Maleficence, no more Alice in Wonderlands. Keep on going what you've been doing with Cinderella and Onward, and uh, I think they're going to kill it in the theaters. So... With that being said, guys, I hope you comment below and tell me your thoughts. Are you excited for a Lilo and Stitch remake? Like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, everybody, take care.